So I've been given access to the new power coupling block. It's absolutely crazy. I haven't tested it out yet. I'm extremely excited to see how this works though. So, oh well, let's, let's test it out. I got the uh, power coupling here. Uh, let's look at the settings we got. Oh, so beam opacity. Oh, nice. We can make it in invisible. That's really nice. Hide part one, hide part two. Oh, you can literally, you can make this, this is an invisible block. Oh my gosh, I can see why, I can see why they might have called it the lucky, lucky, lucky block, um, Lockroom. Go check out his channel, he, um, he's been doing floating block glitches for a long time. But, uh, this is insane. I've got to admit, this is, this is super cool. As uh, I gotta say, this is in beta testing, so, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of, that they might do some some bug fixes and stuff like that but um i'm so excited to see how how this goes all right so oh actually first of all let's test this out on the helicopter i've i've had a helicopter for a long time um which i've i've wanted to make a single um single rotor helicopter um but the problem is is you actually need a bendable flexible piece um and the game wasn't able to calculate um the physics properly to get a single rotor helicopter working so um i'm very excited to see if we can actually get this to work so let's uh let's find it so as you can see i i added this these hinges to try and get the same effect unfortunately i ended up with not enough lift so We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, we might need a fairly strong power coupling. I don't know how stiff you can make these things. So, we'll see. Hopefully you can make them fairly stiff and they haven't limited us in that regard. Um, but yeah, let's... Actually, I'm just gonna spawn this in. Oh! Oh, would you look at that? That actually looks really really good all right all right let's um that they're stiffer than i was expecting which is really nice it's really really good okay um all right so what we should see is that the blades start to curve upwards that's good so let's see we'll boot up the engines now oh Okay, so we've, we've lost a lot of lifting thrust power, unfortunately. Oh, and that's with that. Alright, cool. And rotate this around and rotate it that way. And now we got, we got it. Hopefully now we'll have enough lift. No, we do not have enough lift. And we've even got, <laughs> we've even tried to cheat here, obviously in the past, trying to, trying to get this to work. Um, oh well, I'll take those out for now, we don't need them. Um, so yeah, let's just remove those. It seems like we have a problem. <laughs> um, Alright, uh, there might be a way to fix this though. I was actually using helicopter engines on this. That's how old this build is. Alright, um, let's see, let's, let's, I'm gonna, these are way more power condensed from memory than, um, helicopter props, so, should be good, we'll put this in space, hopefully it'll just give us a little bit of a nudge, so, yeah, look at that. Alright, oh, we might be, need a few more, maybe one or two more. Alright, um, um, let's see, one there, and then one somewhere in the front. So, all oh, good, alright, let's see, Potter. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the edge ones here. Alright, so do we get roll effects? <gasps> Wait. 
We appear to be getting your effects. But... Oh, yeah, we're getting some sort of effect. We might need to make them less stiff. Is my idea. Let's see. So, reduce the stiffness a little bit. We'll go 77. That sounds like a good number. Um, oh gosh, look how puppy they are! Oh no. Oh, it's crazy. It is kind of crazy. Alright, yeah. So, when I press space, um, that's when you engage the little ones. But when I let go of space, you can see we, we fall pretty flat. It's actually crazy. Um, this thing is... We should be able to pitch straight forward and um, go forward pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I mean, your. For some reason, this helicopter doesn't have any your. Well, let's see. Um, I'll add some your to it. Okay, guys, so I seem to have not really affected it too much, unfortunately. Um, something that would be actually kind of funny is if we somehow managed to fit a little balloon in here. Um, this actually could work. Yeah, I might be able to glitch two of these together. So we'll have, um, a double, double the amount of these things. Which might be pretty cool. This is really experimental, but... <laughs> I don't know if it'll work, um, something tells me it won't, but if it does, it's gonna be really fun. Oh! oh wow, yeah, no. Oh, this is so good! Guys, this is so good! I didn't know this. So guys, I put this on all sides. Hopefully, it still works. Um, I know there's a chance it might not, so that might not be the greatest. However, we will we'll see what happens. I'm um, just gonna attach all of these because some of them didn't work, and spawn it in. Let's see. I like that. I mean, it's good good so far. Oh, oh, this is so close. We're so close. No. Oh no. Look. How close we are to be able to sustain flight. Crazy. And I'm surprised, I'm actually really surprised how stable these things are. They're, they're better than hinges. If you try to do these with hinges, I've tried it before. It, uh, the game doesn't like you very much. It ends up, um, destroying your whole build by janky physics. Um. Yeah, I don't know what you can do about that. Alright, so your seems to create some sort of instabilities. But for the most part, I'd say this seems pretty controllable. Let's take it for a test flight. Um, I'm gonna try and fly it through these rings of fire. How well this goes. Hopefully we can fly it through here. A little tap on the edge of the cliff there, but didn't sustain any major damage. Um, let's fly. fly hopefully. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. So, so there's some weird flight characteristics when you when I try and yaw. It um it doesn't like it very much sometimes. See, it, uh, it was a little bit crazy. But, um, other than that, I'd say we're one step closer to creating a proper helicopter in Trailmakers. Um, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see what, what we use these for in the future. If you've got any ideas, put them down in the comment section below, because I'm going to be hopefully using a lot more of these. 
Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.